In this video, we're going to take a look at the awesome game called Osmos. And what makes Osmos so great is that you can illustrate an enormous number of physics concepts with this one relatively simple game idea. Now I should say up front that Osmos is available as a free demo that you can download for any platform, but it's also available as a mobile app. So if you want to play it on your iPod Touch or iPad, you can download it there as well. What we're going to do is we're going to look at just a couple of the physics ideas that are in this game, and then I'm going to ask you to create your own video showing how Osmos can be used to demonstrate a new physics topic that you've learned about. The first clue that this game depends on some cool physics is that right when you start, you see this Latin phrase, right? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And of course, we recognize that as Newton's third law. We'll see that the fundamentals of moving in this game are based on Newton's third law. So this is us, we're this blue glowing orb. And the first challenge is to get us just to move our little orb from where we currently are to this blue circle. The way we do that is by clicking, or in the case of a mobile device, touching around this orb. And what will happen is we'll kind of throw a little bit of ourselves outward. Now just as you'd imagine an astronaut throwing a baseball in space, right, when, when that object is thrown away, there's a little bit of momentum that's imparted to us. And so this is how we're going to move ourselves, right? So if I click down here and I just toss a little bit of this glowing stuff, you can see it kind of floating down, and now my Osmos guy is moving up, right? For every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. And now if you've learned about momentum, you can think about what might be happening as that ball comes back up and hits me again and gets absorbed. So you can think about what kind of collision might be taking place here that can be illustrated. We can also see some others of Newton's laws being acted out here, right? Like I can see Newton's first law happening right now. My Osmos object is in motion and it's continuing in its motion, right? So now there's a whole lot of physics concepts here. We've already seen some references to Newton's laws, to collisions. You can think about rocket connections, right? How rocket propulsion works. And I, I think for some of the more advanced students, perhaps even thinking about how does Newton's second law illustrated with the motion of this game. Now let's just do this level really quick and you can see that this gets more complicated, right? So I'm going to throw some stuff over towards this guy. I want to move my Osmos towards this, towards this blue circle. And of course, to get it to stop, we've got to think carefully about Newton's laws. What is it going to take to stop this thing, right? Well, I need to exert a force in the opposite direction. Cool, and what we'll see as you work through this game in, in more detail is that there's even more advanced physics concepts being illustrated. There are different types of collisions that we'll see taking place, right? So in this particular level, I need to absorb this red object. But it's red because it's bigger than me. And in Osmos, you can only absorb objects that are smaller than you. But you can see these blue guys are smaller. So you can imagine, how can I eventually absorb this guy? Well, I'm going to need to grow my Osmos big enough that I can absorb it. As you work through higher and higher levels and possibly download the full game, you'll see that more advanced physics gets incorporated to the point of including gravitation and, and other physics concepts. So you've seen a little bit of the physics that's in this game and, and a video like this. What I'd like you to do is use a free screen recorder like Jing and create your own video where you explain the physics concept and you set up a situation in Osmos to demonstrate that physics concept. I'd like you to upload that to YouTube as a response to this video so that everyone can see the different physics concepts that are being illustrated with this one really cool game. 